In 2016, homelessness was rising sharply in major cities across America. The country's wealth divide was driving up real estate prices in big cities, quietly forcing record numbers of poorer residents to move into tent cities with makeshift housing. The media was largely ignoring the problem, focusing instead on the presidential campaign of Donald Trump. The real estate mogul's mansions, luxury apartments, and vacation homes dominated the news. We saw an opportunity to draw some attention back to America's sharp growth in homeless encampments by associating the presidential candidate with a different type of housing. A more pragmatic type of housing. A weirder type of housing. Luxury homeless encampment housing. This is Fox 25 News at 10. It is called the Trump Hut. The Trump Hut. The Trump Hut. Trump Hair Hut. There have been a lot of unusual sights around Cleveland, but this one is making some look twice. Modeled after the hair of America's most notorious real estate mogul. The hair hut made out of Mexican straw. It's actually made from 98 hula skirts. How do you solve homelessness? That's how you solve it. The media coverage was no accident. It started with doing outreach to influencers, such as one of Manhattan's top hair salons. Then the Trump hut infiltrated Brooklyn's influential arts community. It was invited to an art show in the edgy Brooklyn artist neighborhood of Red Hook. What started as coverage in insider art blogs grew into international media coverage. Then the Trump hut embarked upon its big launch, parking itself at the base of the Trump International Tower, to dramatize America's growing wealth divide and the makeshift housing issues that this was creating. Two ad agency guys dreamed this up to protest wealth inequality, matching dog not included. Touch it, go inside, hang out, and think about what would happen if that man came to power, oh my God. To create greater buzz, Trump had announced on his Facebook page that it was going to drive to the Republican National Convention in Cleveland and the media bit. Plus, enter the Trump hut, the unbelievable structure. Some of the thousands in Cleveland will check out this eye-catching and maybe hair-raising art installation in the city. I know where my hula skirt can do, go when I'm done with it. Wow. <laughs> Some hotel rooms, as we know, are really scarce this week, so a team of anti-Trump artists cut out the middleman. They built their own wigwam shaped like the Donald's iconic head of hair, the Trump hut. Play about a mile away from the convention. The story went national, and then the story went international. One artist found inspiration in Donald Trump's hair. Focus people on the election on the growing wealth inequality. We think that's the biggest issue and the one that people should be paying attention to. If you go to Twitter and look up Trump Hut, you'll find their account Trump Hut, or go to TrumpHuts.com to see what exactly it looks like. It, it's big enough to fit a couple people inside. In the end, the Trump Hut garnered over 500 million media impressions through news and social. And in its own unique way, the hut did its own small part to help draw attention to America's growing homeless encampments. The artists who built Trump Hut hope people will walk away from the piece with a focus on social inequality and the wealth divide in the U.S.